Hello and welcome to drbrownsapps.com video overview of Dr. Brown's DTT Colors app. Once installed and open on your device, you will notice a four tab menu at the top of the app. These tabs include Welcome, Instructions, Our Apps, and About. You can read each tab for more information, but for now we are going to jump into setting up a starter DTT to help your child learn colors. Let's get started by tapping Start in the upper right hand corner of the app. This takes us to the test setup screen. On the settings screen, you will see that there are two different buttons, practice and start. The practice button begins a simple way to introduce your child to the colors. This practice screen can quickly be started in two easy steps. Number one, selecting the card type, rectangles, crayons easy, crayons photos, bears, vehicles, and foods. Secondly, tapping practice. For example, select a card type such as rectangles, then press practice. Blue. As you can see, the child can play Orange. with different card types Purple. to familiarize themselves with the shapes and colors. Yellow. With Pink. some card types, Orange. you may need to drag the screen Black. to see all the cards. The real core of the app is the DTT testing. During our first setup of the app, you'll need to do the following. Number one, Enter your child's name. Number two, select a card type such as rectangles. Number three, select your correct and incorrect card choices. For a beginner, choose two contrasting colors so that your child can easily distinguish them such as blue and red. The cards checked as correct will only be included in the correct answers, and the incorrect will only show up as wrong answers. You can use this to your child's advantage in advanced training setups but we'll explain that in another video. Number four, in the settings tab, you need to set the inner trial interval. This is the number of seconds between the presentation of cards. Research recommends a 30 second inner trial interval for maximum learning. If your child is very active, you may want to lower the inner trial interval time. For this video, we'll set the interval to five seconds. Also, make sure the number of cards is set to two. As your child learns, you can gradually adjust the settings to increase the challenge and fun. Number five, click start. Notice in the upper right hand corner that the inner trial interval is counting down. When it reaches zero, the counter changes to the maximum trial time. Red. This is how long your child has to answer. Now your child should press the card mentioned and if correct, they will receive correct. the following display. You are so smart. Your child will have to press OK to continue. This actively involves your child in the learning experience. The actual app requires a completion of 10 trials Blue. to complete the session. We fast forwarded Wrong. to the end Better to show an incorrect time. answer on the 10th card set. This completed this block and displays your child's progress. After pressing OK, we go back to the settings screen and into the log tab. Here you can see how your child is progressing. If after several blocks of trials your child is still not getting at least 50% correct, you should use the fade function to help your child. Go to the settings tab and make sure the show fade button is turned on. Now, during a test, if your child is having trouble, simply press the Blue. fade button in the top left to make the card bigger and Blue. announce the card name. You can do this a second time Blue. to make the card even more pronounced for your child. Correct. Thank you for watching and please visit drbrownsapps.com for more information and updates.